Previously on Dance Academy. It's over. Dad's pulling me out of the academy. I think I have a boyfriend. Principal of the National Ballet. Natasha Willis. Darling. I've been looking for you all morning. Hi, Mum. They won't let me dance. And there's no way I'll win the scholarship. You have to promise me you won't tell anyone. Abigail. Someone get the doctor. Lately, all I see in the mirror is a collage of different body parts. I'm not a person. I'm a hip that needs to be turned out, an arm which could be better supported. And so I've started playing this game where I try to catch my reflection by surprise. To see if I recognise the girl staring back at me. Are you sure, Mrs Armstrong? I know, I know, but, it, you know, it's the end of semester and, you know, everyone's really worried about Abigail and... Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for nothing. She still won't put you through? Nope. I think family is probably the best mirror. Hey! Because they know you better than anyone. And you can always count on them to stay the same. Hey, darling. How are you? Good. Hi. Darling. Hi, Mum. Is Dad coming? He got stuck at the surgery. Oh, my solo tomorrow is probably the one you should be seeing. So yeah, that's it's right. Is that chocolate? <sighs> this is the longest I've been away from my parents. Dad! I wonder what they'll see. Ah! <laughs> I wonder how they'll think I've changed. You look gorgeous. I can't believe you guys are here. Your father has been beside himself. Oh, I might have mentioned it once or twice. Well, you know, it's just classes, right? It's not actually a performance. Oh, um, Mom? Dad? This is Ethan. Hi. Well, crazy. You two have the exact same smile. <laughs> well, it's delightful to meet you, Ethan. Neil, heard so much about you. Mr. Webster. Funny, I didn't hear about you till this morning. <laughs> well, I don't want to interrupt the reunion. See you at lunch. What? I'm almost 16, Dad. And how old's he? She's allowed to have boyfriends, Neil. I don't recall giving her permission. Dad, what happened to your tooth? Cracked a belt. For weeks I've been asking to get it fixed, but do you think you'll listen to me? I'm no. not entering any beauty pageants, am I? I can wait till we finish shearing. I love you, but you cannot open your mouth while you're here. <laughs> I'm serious. People are going to think we're hicks. <laughs> Katrina, interesting what happens when you try. I'm afraid even without a partner that still looks sloppy. Yes, you're actually starting to work together. Go Tara Banana! Neil? Fan club? It was meant to be a fair trade, decent exam marks for a non-dancing holiday of my choice. Now she's got us doing some weird mother-daughter interview thing. I swear, all this good behaviour is giving me a rash. Flemington? Uh, T, they're bonding. It's not necessarily a bad thing. And she insisted all summer that we... But Tara, I'm talking to Kat's mum about the movies of her we used to watch, remember? Not completely. Lamington? She would scream if I tried to put on anything else and demanded that we all call her Natasha. 
We've got an appointment in town later on, so I'm going to miss your afternoon classes. Huh? I'm glad Sydney's pulled out the weather for you. Mm. Your father wanted to take you and your friends out to tea. Do you think that's all right? Yeah, that sounds great. Well, you wouldn't great. know it today, but it's actually been horrible lately, just raining non-stop. Interesting to hear rain described as horrible. Oh, Dad, I don't think he meant it like that. But roll, Evan. Where do you think the wheat comes from if it doesn't rain? Uh, I hadn't really thought about it, sir. You think it just magically appears in the supermarket? Uh, I think we left the thermos in the car. We could order drinks here. I mean, we're sitting at their tables. I don't think anyone's going to mind, sweetheart. We know all about your city prices. <laughs> Imagine what you could do with that extra six dollars. <laughs> Oi! What do you think you're doing? Talking to you, son. You've, uh, got a leak. Is that right? Weren't you just dancing with my daughter? So? So I didn't think a ballet boy would be interested in cars. Didn't think a ballet girl's father would own something decent. No, your folks are great. I mean, your dad obviously wants to disembowel me, but my <laughs> details You think are you have problems? If I didn't relish the image of Natasha in a caravan, I would tell her to stuff that um. holiday. Hi, Mum. It's good to see you. Tara, I wanted to invite you and your parents for dinner tonight. Bon far? Oh, thanks, but, um... I think they wanted to take us out. But we can always combine, right? Well, they did, but, but then something came up and now they're busy. Shame. Still, you should come. Let's put a comb through this hair. We have a meeting with a stylist. You have to save me. Hey. You didn't have to ditch your parents on my behalf. Trust me. Dad would complain about the small portion sizes and Mum would go on about how much it costs. It's just easier if I do something with them tomorrow. You guys don't mind, do you, that I'm cancelling? No, Princess. I had my heart set on the steakhouse, but if you're all too tired... Tara! Yeah, yeah, we really are. Thanks, Dad. Darling? We decided to go out after all. It was a spur of the moment decision. Um, I can do that. Our meeting today was at the bank. We're trying to refinance one of the loans, so they're not taking risks at the moment. So what? Are we losing the farm? Oh no. Look, if wool prices go up, we should be fine, but every cent's tight. I can get a job on Sundays, I think, oh, or. I don't know if that's going to cover it, sweetie. Then what can I do to help? Look, I'd be lying if I said having you here wasn't expensive. And with the boarding fees and the shoes and the leotards, it, it all adds up. No. Let me finish. No, Mum, this is me. This is my dream. I know it is, sweetie, and I want you to have that. But I'm just... I'm just trying to juggle a few dreams right now. Look, would it... Would it honestly be the end of the world if you deferred until next year? Just until we can work things out. What does Dad say? Dad doesn't want you to know. He's so proud of you, it's all he talks about. You can't ask me to do this, Mum. I'm not asking you to do anything, honey, except consider it. like sisters. I know. Natasha, when I saw you dance Aurora, I couldn't believe you had a 15-year-old at home. So, Kat, did you see your mum in that Yeah, role? yeah, I, I, I always watch her. I love watching her. <laughs> it just amazes me, Natasha, how you juggle everything. Lars Peterson told me that you're booked for the European Gala. Uh, let's reset, <clears> yeah? <throat> let's reset. I mean, that's particularly like dancing to royalty. <laughs> You can't tell me that you can come home after that and clean the bathroom. No, but nothing's confirmed yet. Sorry, silly me. Uh, when's the gala again? Um, it's in a couple of weeks, isn't it? You'll be going to see your mum, won't you, Kat? Yeah, 
Yes, luckily for me, it's right at the same time as my school holidays. Mum always makes sure that I have the best ones. I remember once in Singapore when I was 10, she got so caught up in the tour that she was doing that she actually flew out of the country, completely forgetting that I was back in the hotel room. <laughs> Let's reset, yeah? We now have Tara Webster doing a variation of The Ugly Duckling. His loss, you're amazing. Kill it. Roast the duck. couldn't be bothered no one said anything well I need some retail therapy and Natasha needs to see the bill so feel like giving this little baby a workout you know what Kat a lot of people would give anything to be here and have what you have it's getting really old how you just take it for granted Tara banana come help your old dad the city boy doesn't know how to find the alternator. Uh, I'll just be back in a sec. about the property uh, sounds it is they're actually ugly aren't they all those ballets gone about them being so beautiful but up close weird necks Sensational, wasn't it, Ari? Last bit of suck. <laughs> he was never going to come, was he? He was absolutely going to try. It's just going to take some time. Ballpark guesstimate. Bye. Bye. Mrs. Armstrong? Yes. No, no I, I know she's resting and I, I know you don't want to take any phone calls, but would you please tell her that I... that I called?
make a choice. You don't have to. Shh. It's a good movie. Steakhouse, with this tooth, that may not be such a bad Dad, thing. Dad, this is fine. Do you know how much they charge at those places? Yeah, it's not like home, is it? Actually, that's something I've been meaning to talk to you guys about. Having you here has kind of made me realise how much I'm missing everything. What? You love it here. What's the matter, Princess? Has someone given you a hard time? No, Neil, uh, no it's sure. nothing like that. I guess I just love the idea of this place. But being here all the time, it isn't me. And if I go home, it's not like I have to stop dancing altogether. I can still do it a couple times a week. Oh, I'm not sure what to think about this. Tough because I made up my mind. Miss Rain? Tara, I was going to look for you today. I have something you might like. I said I'd give them back to you when you were ready. Thank you. For everything. But I've come to let you know that I'm not going to be here next semester. I'm going home. Some things are just more important. Than ballet. Well, if you believe that, you obviously don't belong here. No, I know I need this place to become a professional. But I don't really need it to dance and if I truly love it that should be enough and besides I don't think I'd be a very good dancer if I didn't like myself as a person thank you going to erect a statue in my honour. You know we can keep our stuff here over the break. <laughs> you guys can come stay over the holidays. Well, I think it's crap. Yeah, uh, news flash, we all do. Correction, I think Tara's crap. What? You told me to stand up to my dad, and now he's probably never going to talk to me again. Which is fine, because I belong here. So, why is it so difficult for you? Sammy! Sammy, come back! Just leave him. Hey, your results just got posted. It's not like we have anything better to do. Hey, you did good, you know. Yeah? Yeah. I'd give up this place for your family any day. Come with me. How'd you go? Who cares? Look, you got it. First year scholarship. 
school fees, boarding expenses. It's not a gift, you'll earn every cent. Every week you'll be doing private classes with me, working harder than you ever thought possible. But you're telling me I can stay? It would seem so. I can stay. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks. You guys don't mind it's not permanent, do you? I know you miss me. Mind? <laughs> I'll put the billiards table in your bedroom. <laughs> no. Don't ruin it. Tara? Honey, you know I never wanted you to give up. First grown up thing I've ever had to do. Oh, help. The women are blubbering. <laughs> Hey, Sean. Yo. Can you take a picture of us? Yeah. All right. Okay, ready? Okay, big smiles. <laughs> <laughs> and three, two, cheese. <laughs> there you go. All right, hey, see you next semester. Thank you. Can we borrow her just for a couple more hours? It's an emergency. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it was supposed to be a going away present. I wanted to get you a card, but... <laughs> <sighs> this can't be safe. The trick is, Sammy, not to look down. Everybody knows that. Families are different to when my parents grew up. It's like there are no set rules anymore. It doesn't matter what your DNA says. When someone's family, you just know. They're the people who turn up when you least expect it. Who hold your hand without being asked. The thing about family is that it doesn't matter where you are. When you're with them, you're home. I have two now. Two families, two homes. And I know what it's like to be on top of the world. <laughs>